Hello there, I am Giant Grodel with more Pokemon Emerald. Even the last part we started this route, and I think we're in the middle of it actually. Let me check my Pokemon app real quick, because I'm like, I don't want to say this route, I want to actually give you guys that route name. So if we're here on Route 121, okay, so we were about right, we traveled around here in the last part, and we're starting Route 21. I think this is where the rain started, and it was really pouring down, but when we got to like right here, this one stopped, and I guess we just moved out east a little bit more to where we want to go. It's like an, it's a big L shape, as you can see. So I have Knight up front, and then in my second side I have Prime. So, in other words, my Laron and my Azimril. So yeah, let's take on this double battle. Joy says, together we're fearless. We will demonstrate how tough we are. So I think this is like a junior and senior double battle. That's like the trainer types, I guess. Yeah, junior and senior, or senior and junior. Kate and Joy. Spinda and Slacking, okay. So. Yeah. How do I want to go about this? We can try doing the Slacking first, but then again, he only attacks every other turn. It's hard to say, but if the Slacking does like Focus Punch or something, I gotta be careful and make sure I hit it, you know? Um. Let's take down the Spinda first. Just so it's out of the way. To make sure it goes bye bye while I use Ice Beam. <laughs> there it goes, the faint attack. I resisted, so it shouldn't do too much. Nope. And I said it's not very effective. Oh, it's frozen. The Spinda is frozen solid. It was frozen solid. And now it's dead. Oh man, I feel bad for it. It just died. It, was, it fainted when it was trapped in a big ice cube. That's kind of sad. Okay, so now this uh, Slacking won't attack this turn because it's ability. Let's go for- I'm gonna try Iron Tail, but I'm pretty sure I'll miss this time. I've been pretty lucky with it lately, so I'm gonna just expect it missing. But we'll see. There goes Ice Beam. Oh, the Iron Tail still hit. Awesome. It's gonna lower it down its defense. And this time it'll attack, so I gotta be careful. Let's go for the headbutt, just so it hits. I mean, headbutt has better accuracy than takedown is, what I want, is all what I mean. And I'll just to show if it will try. Oh, slack off. Dang, that was a good move. I restored half its HP. Okay. The slacking is pretty smart. Let's go for the takedown this time, and let's go for the ice beam. I know it can't attack this turn because, again, it's ability. Tyron, or however it's called. Oh, it's frozen. That's awesome. But let's see if this takedown hits. Again, this poor slacking faints when it's trapped in a big ice cube. Oh man, I feel bad. I'm good to level 36. Good game, good battle. You too. I appreciate it. Please follow me, Kate. Thanks for the ten dollars twenty four cents, guys. Or gals, I should say, since you're girls. And yeah, let's go to not Pokedex, Pokemon, you silly goose. I'm so silly. So let's put Prime to the bottom. And let's put Blaine in the second slot, actually. Because Blaine didn't get any action in the last part, so, you know. Here's the Pokemon Safari Zone. What do you have to say? Welcome to Safari Zone. Here, you may witness many kinds of Pokemon rarely seen in Hoenn. And you'll see them in the world, their wild, untamed states state in natural habitats what's more we've got we've thrown in open the what's more we've thrown open the gates to pokemon trainers you're encouraged to catch pokemon for keeps come in and enjoy the safari zone now i think this way you can catch a pikachu in the safari zone which is pretty cool although i won't be catching a pikachu or any of the okay I'll, I'll probably i'll try catching some of the pokemon in here just to show it off but um I already have my final team, so I won't be adding any Pokemon to my final team, so, you know. Uh, let's put stuff on our PC if we can. Let's see, what Pokemon, or not, what, what items can we put on our PC that we don't need really right now? Um, uh, we don't need six escape ropes, I'll put in like three. We don't really need like three. And, we can put in the rare candy, and that's about it, because I don't want any of these other Pokemon things to be put in the PC. Uh, which all item? It's just for, for curiosity. Nope, okay. 
just curious. And let's here's a trick I learned. If you put your uh, injured Pokemon in the PC, then it'll heal up like just like a Pokemon sign, which is pretty cool. So let's move Pokemon. And since I know Blaine is perfectly healed because he didn't get any action in the last part, I'll heal him last actually. But here's what we do. I know a zoom a little. Once they put in the PC, they'll be fully healed, HP and PP wise, and the, if they had any static status conditions on them, then they that would also be healed. So that's a, it's like a Pokemon Center, but it takes longer, and it's good because you have a Pokemon Center or a po PC right here, but you don't have a Pokemon Center exactly. So that's why we do it here. And I think we can just uh, withdraw them um, right away. I'll just hit withdraw to make it a lot faster than what I just did. Withdraw. Okay, now I'm put, I want to put Blaine in the front now. Or in the PC for so I can get healed just in case it did. But I'm pretty sure it didn't get, it didn't get action in the last part, but you know. This is a good strategy, but it takes a little while as you can see right here. Okay, and as you see my Pokemon should be healed up. Let's check. There we go. Looks just like magic. And there we go. So let's take on the Safari Zone challenge. Welcome to the Safari Zone. All you can catch for just 500 Poké Dollars or 5 Poké Dollars or 5 Dollars in real life. I don't know. What would you like? Ah, uh, man. Dang it. Oh, we need a Poké Box case. Molly Cove Hall. Molly Cove City. Molly Cove City. I think. Oh wait, that we don't we don't get to Molly Cove City for a little bit. Actually, it's just around the corner. So I'll come back and do this. I forgot we need a Pokeball case for this. So I'll do that later. And let's see here. Let's go to the Molly Cove. Actually, let's head to Molly Cove area. And oh, yeah, I'll put nine nine point are fine. I guess for this battle. There's nothing I love more than catching, than checking out other people's Pokemon. How nice. I want everybody to see the Pokemon I've raised. You're, you're on YouTube now, baby, so show them off. You're on Giant Gorilla's YouTube channel. <laughs> okay, so both breeders, male and female. Maki Dream Poochiana. Um choose the takedown on Makuhita and the double kick on Puchiana. I was gonna use the fake out. Okay, way to go. The, wait, does the Makuhita have fake out? Although it can't be used right now because it would have been used already if it did have fake out. Level 35, yay! Knight, you're level 35, nice. Okay, so three Pokemon each. This, this battle will take a while, but that's okay. Or Sleuth, I'm not a ghost type or fighting type, or any of those kinds of types. Let's just take down on the Wingo and double kick on the Poochiana. This time the double kick is able to hit, and it'll take down the Poochiana. Okay, a Shroomish, nice. It should faint the Wingo, so we'll see. There we go. Tropius. Let's use the takedown on the Shroomish and the flamethrower on the Tropius. And there we go, there goes the Tropius. The takedown will miss, that's okay. I'll get hit by stun support though. I'm gonna take the time to heal. So, just use the heal powder, I guess. I don't really mind using the heal powder. Powder. Just one throw on this shroomish. There we go, it hits. Ah, there we go. There's one Pokemon each left, if I'm not correct. And most likely I'm not correct. Okay, there's one more Pokemon left. Up trike, okay. Uh, I don't. I need to go back to my pack. I hate when I do that. Let's go for the mud slap 
and the double kick. Static, huh? I don't like the British static unless I have it on my side. Just to be honest. Okay, thank you for battling. Super awesome. Wow, a six spectacular. Thanks for the 20 bucks, you guys. Let's set him right here. It's a revive. Nice. I'm gonna put Blaine up to the front, but I'm also gonna heal its paralysis, as you can see right here. It has it's paralyzed, sadly. And Where's my cross heals? I got three of them, cool. I think this guy up here is a gentleman, of course. And he has an electric, he has a main metric, I think. At least he had a main metric in Ruby Sapphire and everyone. So I'm just, my, my legs kind of sore right now, so I just can't, I just don't, I feel really lazy reading his kind of uh, dialogue. And yes, he does have a main metric, I'm sorry about that, the guys, I'm kind of being lazy right now, but I apologize. I'm gonna go for the flamethrower, and just gotta go for the quick attack for a quick hit. Doesn't do much, but it still hits. Uh, the flamethrower goes and hits the main metric. And, oh, it's burned. Awesome. Hurt by born. Oh, dang it. Okay, um. Let's choose double kick. Let's go for the quick attack again. But we go for the double kick. The quick attack does hit and do a little bit of damage. And again, the static hits a plane. It's gotta be really annoying. Almost level 36. Ah, well played. Thanks for the $23.20. Okay. Memento? Is he, did you just call me Memento? Ah. Uh, okay, here's a Poochie and a. I, um, my Pebble Huff apparently, but I think that this Pooch, after this Poochie and I'll probably get to level 36. And I want to show this battle because it'll probably be leveled up. There goes the swagger, it hits, it raises my attack sharply, but I get confused. And I hit myself in confusion. That's a lot of damage for just one. Dang it. Y'all, please help me. Gonna swagger me up again? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, this is very annoying. This Poochian is just like, I'm gonna just make you really annoyed. And I'm just gonna be annoying this Pokemon. If, if the, Spoo if the Poochian could speak English right there, it would definitely say that because it's... Okay, my attack's being raised to the roof. And you don't even realize that I have a yellow flute. I've just probably really should, I've just probably figured out that I have a yellow flute. And I can use it as many times as I want. But you're still not comprehending that I can kick your butt in a second if you stop using swagger. Thank you. Those three times no use swagger. And I'll go for the double kick right now, and I'm paralyzed, of course. And you use roar. Okay, that was just a annoying battle. Whatever. I am over it. In fact, I'm gonna heal my process again. Right now. And yeah, that Poochino is a big jerk, to be honest. Uh, let's go to this battle, I guess. Will you play with me? Will you play with my delightfully beautiful, pretty, uh, pretty Pokemon? Sure. Why not? I'm gonna go for the flamethrower. Because for the quick attack does 7 HP. But the Pikachu should not live through this one. Okay, yeah. I fainted basically. There we go, level 36. Nice. That was all she wrote. Oh, I I'm sorry, Red. I skipped every dialogue, but I got tw thanks for $24. Oh, Blaine is evolving. Nice. Finally, Blaine gets to evolve. Nice. I get a nice, awesome Blaziken now. How awesome is that? I think I went Sky Uppercut too. I level 36 when it evolves, of course, after it evolves. Into Blaziken. Congratulations, your Blaine has evolved into Blaziken. When he's trying to do Blazekick. Okay, Blazekick, okay. I thought I went Sky Uppercut at this level, but maybe later. Blazekick, huh? 85. 
With the high critical ratio, it may cause a burn. Um, I kind of want to just give it a double kick right now. So I'll do that. Yeah, waste kick, nice. Hmm, is there another trainers back here? Oh, there's two more. What chop boys against the new move? My Pokemon have never tested defeat tasted defeat. On the next one I'll be entering them into contests. Why not just challenge them at gym what why not just challenge them at gyms? They're like cool trainers, so when a boy trying to go for the gyms and a girl trying to go for the contests? I don't know. I don't know at all. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. Let's go for the boys kick. Boom. When I kill. Nice. Uh, I'm so sick of that static. It's really annoying. That's like the third time this part. Oh my gosh. I'll keep playing in. Here's a sift tree. It's grass type and dark type as well. I raised one in my own Pokemon Ruby Walk as a guide. It made a pretty awesome Pokemon for a grass type. Come on, boys, I can't ever blame you can do this. I believe in you. Oh, dang it! I hate paralyzation. Unless it's on my side, you guys. That's the only time I really like it. That's like the third time. Oh my gosh, stop spamming. Okay, I'd rather use this to harden than do like any cool awesome move. There we go, nice. There goes the shift tree. Okay. There we go, thanks for thirteen dollars and ninety cents. Well, I'm gonna switch plane to a different Pokemon obviously now. Yeah, let's go to speedy, I guess. Speedy, speedy, speedy. Oh, another battle. Way to go. <laughs> I have this routine. Defeat five trainers a day. Guess what? You're number five. Uh-huh, you seem very confident. But are you too confident? Is the question. A lounge it, huh? Okay. Let's go for the Thunderbolt. Ha, huh, paralysis is on my side this time. Let's go for the strength. There we go, nice. Got a growth. Let's use the strength again. Let's get his uproar. Doesn't too much, but that's okay. And we're gonna go for the facade. Nice. No, something horrid. I don't know. I scoped your facade. Thanks for the thirteen dollars and ninety-two cents. Oh, it's total emulation. I won't forget you. Hand over your Pokenav. You're just very upset, I'm sorry. Here's a max driver was picking up. Oh, there's some more berries to pick. Nice. But now they're not berries. I saw I get 12 6, because 3 plus 3 is 6. A math. And let's pick these three. And there we go. If we are in Lily Cove City. How oh, nice. So this has been then my Pokemon and we'll actually get part. The next part we'll take on whatever lies in the Lake Cove and hopefully find Team Aqua when because they went to Mount Pyre apparently. So this has been John Go again. I'm back to music again. Goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Emerald Walkthrough Guide.